In this demonstration, you'll learn how to perform the product installation for ANSYS releases on the Windows platform. Before proceeding, close all Windows applications. You will need to download the product installation files from the ANSYS customer portal and extract them to an accessible directory. Have the host name of the licensed server machine available. This tutorial will begin in the directory containing the extracted installation files. Right-click Setup and select Run as Administrator. Click Install ANSYS Products. Read the ClickWrap Software License Agreement completely. If you agree to the terms, select I Agree and click Next. Accept the default installation directory, or you may enter your own directory at this time. Leave the Associate Files extension with ANSYS Products checkbox enabled. This allows you to double-click files from Windows Explorer to launch the various products. Click Next to continue. Enter your licensed server machine's host name in the Host Name field. If your company is running a redundant triad server configuration, select the Three Server Redundant Triad option and enter all three servers in the spaces provided. Please note that if a licensed server specification already exists on your system, you will not see this screen during the installation process. Click Next when you have entered your host name. The product selection screen automatically displays all products contained in the installation package you downloaded. The installation program queries your licensed server to pre-select your installation options. If the installation program was unable to query your licensed server, the default installation options are selected. Select the products you wish to install and click Next to continue. If you selected the ANSYS Geometry Interfaces option, you are presented with additional installation steps. When selecting the Yes Automatically Configure My Interfaces option and clicking Next, the installation determines if each CAD system is installed on your computer. If the CAD is installed, this option sets the configuration to the appropriate associative interface. If the CAD is not installed, the configuration is set to Reader. Selecting the Yes I Will Make My Selections option and clicking Next walks you through several manual configuration steps as part of this installation. Selecting the No Skip Configuration I Will Configure Later option and clicking Next ignores the geometry interface configuration at this time. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will select the Yes I Will Make My Selections option and click Next. You are presented with a checklist of geometry interfaces. You can manually choose which geometry interfaces you would like to configure by enabling the appropriate checkboxes. Click Next when you have selected your geometry interfaces. The next screen provides you with the option of selecting the reader or associative interface for each enabled geometry. Note that if you selected the associative interface for Creo Parametric or NX, a third screen is displayed where you enter the appropriate installation paths. After configuring your geometry interfaces, click Next. Confirm the products to be installed. Should you not see a product you wish to install, you can use the Back button to return to the product selection screen. Click Next to start the installation. Your selected products are now extracted and installed. You can click the View Detailed Progress Log option to see the progress of the extraction and installation. Once the product installation has completed, click Next to continue. Review the screen for any messages. A Launch Survey Upon Exiting option is included here. Clicking Exit while the option is enabled causes your default browser to open, displaying the product survey. Disabling the Launch Survey Upon Exiting option and then clicking Exit skips the survey. Click Exit to close the installation utility. This concludes this demonstration of the product installation for ANSYS releases on the Windows platform.